Hi, I am Dr. Premlata, working as a senior consultant in OBG in Sanjeevini Hospital, Mahalakshmi Layout, Bangalore. One can still continue uh, with pregnancy even if the cervical smear shows abnormal cells. As I said earlier, the cervical cancer takes a long time to develop into a uh, full-fledged cancer because the lesion, whatever smear is detecting, it is at a very early age. That's the advantage of doing a pap smear. And uh, if, if at all, if there are abnormal cells, then we divide it into three categories, CIN1, CIN2 and CIN3. CIN is cervical intraepithelial neoplasia. So just that uh, epithelium, whether it is invaded one third, two third or the whole length of the epithelium, in that way, the CIN 1, 2, 3 are categorized. So, CIN 1 and 2 are um, relatively safer. There should not be any fear at all. CIN 3, we should be worried. But any in any case, if there is abnormal cell found on pap smear, we would be further confirming it by doing a colposcope and a directed biopsy. And depending on the biopsy results, the patient would be advised what to do next. So, unless... Uh, three to six months we can give and repeat uh, pap smear if biopsy is not proving anything or if biopsy is proving CA in situ then accordingly we can decide what further treatment should be advised to pregnant women. So usually in the later part of the pregnancy we advise women to continue with the pregnancy and then go for detailed testing and uh, uh, go for the surgery or whatever treatment is advised. Yeah, if there are any ab abnormal changes in the smear, which is uh, CIN3 or CIN2, then the simple surgical uh, procedures can also be advised in uh, pregnant women, uh, like cervical conization or leap uh, procedure. So those are the simple procedures I can have as a short uh, day care admission, and uh, the person can still think of continuing with the pregnancy. It's a mutual uh, um, agreement uh, like how patient wants to go about it and uh, how convenient is uh, for them and to the doctor. So it is mutually on um, their comfort level.